Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. I'm John Skinner, and last week's video tip dealt with launching a kayak into the ocean. Well, we need to get back up on the beach. Um, some of the same considerations apply. Pick your spot. Try to get between the sandbars, not go over them. Uh, try to time your trip so that you're not coming in on the lower tides, especially uh, if you've got sandbars around. Spend a little time outside those breaking waves in order to time the waves and understand what they're doing. And what I did there was I waited well outside the waves. You can see I'm being pushed here. Um, so I've got a little bit of a swell behind me and it does not take much for that to knock you right over. Landing the kayak is much more difficult than launching. When you're launching, you're going into it. You have control. In this situation, first of all, the waves are coming up behind you. It's hard to look back there and see and read them. And they're coming up, they're pushing you so they can take control. Now this is one way to land. This is what I prefer to do. Uh, some guys will do some other things such as uh, paddle in backwards even so that they always have the front pointing into the waves. But you can see I've got some rollers there and I'm just watching them and I'm going to wait for a bigger one to come by and I'm going to try to follow it right in. And as with launching, once you decide to go, you go. You don't change your mind and you paddle hard. I mean this is something where you know if you can get your speed up and um, that can help you keep control because when those waves come up behind you, if there's a big difference in your paddling speed versus the wave speed, boy, it can just turn you right around. Here we go. Now, I'm not going to get out right away. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for that wave right there, the one behind me, because I've learned that if you don't do that, that's the one that knocks you over. And then I've got this ski rope uh, tied to the bow. This helps me just snatch that thing out of the waves. If I have to go up to the front and reach for that handle, good chance I'm not going to get it. You see I had the paddle unleashed and went nice and smooth. So I hope that helps you out if you're going to give this a try, and I'll talk to you next week. Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.